Hey folks, David Creative Craft House to show you a new puzzle, which I really kind of like, Call we call No Connection. Um, I got the idea from uh, one of Martin Gardner's books. In fact, it was uh, this book here I just got in, Colossal Short, Colossal Book Short Puzzles and Problems. If many of you are probably familiar with Martin Gardner, and if you, Gardner, if you're not, he's just a fascinating man, kind of invented the recreational math concept, uh, recently died. Um, as far as I know, this puzzle has never been uh, made uh, commercially, um, but boy, it's a good one, and it's really addicting. Um, your goal here is to arrange these pegs such that uh, no sequential number is connected uh, via any of these lines that you see here. That is, a 3 could, be not, uh, could not be adjacent to a, a 4. Um, uh, 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 or a two, uh, a six could not be adjacent to a seven or eight, or so forth. So, if you look at this closely, it may look like, hey, everything looks pretty good, but we've got a six next to a seven. So it will come unsolved. The solution will be in the box. Um, in fact, it will be under this cover that you see here. I'm trying to make a nice little package. It's all wood, all hardwood. I may mix the woods up a bit. This one, particular one, is alder. I may use uh, maple or cherry too. But it has a cover, everything puts away very securely, as you can see. I decided to make it with the uh, square pegs because um, oh, it's just something a little different, uh, you know, square holes. Um, the pegs are a little bit of a pain to make, but they really make for a nice, attractive, uh, ergonomically friendly peg. And one of the nice things about it is when you, when you put them in position, uh, the numbers are always uh, looking right at you, as opposed to circles where the numbers could be twisted around. Just a little thing, but but uh, I, I, I kind of like the look of it. Now, this is something that um, it really looks pretty easy. I'm sure you're thinking I could solve that quickly, and of course you may. But in fact, it's not so easy. Um, uh, there are, uh, according to Martin Gardner's analysis, uh, uh, for over 40,000 different possible permutations of these pegs, and only one solution. Now, many of the, those you'll be able to quickly disregard. So it's not crazy hard by any means, but but I would say you know a typical uh, half decent puzzle solver with good analytical skills is probably going to take a uh, half hour to be a good solution time, and most people will just take a lot longer than that. But it's not intimidating; anybody can attempt it, and you always seem to get close. So it falls into that category of puzzles like um, cruiser or log jam that that look easy, but but are not. And whereas the other ones that uh, we've done are, are mostly spatial. This is mostly uh, analytical. Uh, if you approach this somewhat randomly, just trying to solve it, um, it's not going to work so good. You really need to think through it and, and come up with a logical procedure to solve this thing uh, efficiently. So I hope it's something you will enjoy. And this is Dave Creative Craft House.